All right, we are back with the Barcelona Master League. So this is going to be the final season of this series, season three. Just one final season to see how many trophies we can end this series with. So in two seasons, we've won the FIFA Club World Cup, the Champions League, the Super Cup, La Liga, Copa del Rey, and a preseason tournament. So we pretty much won every trophy that there is possible to win. We're just going to do one final season to see how many we can end up with. And in this third season, we're going to try to look to make some decent changes to this team. So first off, we sold Busquets to Napoli at the end of last season. So we need a new CDM for sure in this team. And then Wijnaldum is going down in overall, so we probably need a new midfielder as well. And we need a new left back. And also, if we could, I would like a new center back too. So uh, we need a lot of changes and we do not have that much money to make those changes. We only have about maybe 133 million. Now that is a lot, but on in this game, release clauses are like in the 400s, 300s. So I feel like we're gonna have to try and be really, really smart with this money. So we do have this offer from PSG for Griezmann for 95 million. I'm not sure if I want to accept that or not, but we have put players like Dembele, Jesus, um, Moriba, Toribo. We put those players on the transfer list to see if we can maybe get some offers, maybe build up that transfer budget a little bit. Like Griezmann has not been bad in the series. It's just he's only scored 37 goals in 87 games in two seasons. For my starting left winger, I would expect a little bit better than that. And then Dembele has only scored seven goals in 50 games. So he is definitely a player I want to move on from. All right. So we tried bringing in Neymar last season. It didn't work. I think I'm going to try it again, but honestly, I don't think it's going to work this season either. I think his value is just way too high, but we're going to offer it just to see. And then we definitely need a new CDM. I feel like Kimmich is probably the best CDM in the game right now, but his release fee is 226 million. So I think we're going to throw an offer at uh, Kimmich, see what Byron says about him. And then we're also going to send an offer at Rodri from uh, Man City. And we're going to see what they say, what they come back with. All right. So we sent some offers out. Neymar got rejected. Also, Kimmich got rejected as well. And then and we sent a uh, Depay swap offer with uh, Jay Seuss, which uh, broke down as well. But Rodri for 100 million was accepted. And then also Gabriel from Arsenal, we got accepted for 27.2 million. Now he is 86 rated. He's 86 and his value is only what? 34 million like I don't get that when you search center backs he's in like a top 10 best in the game right now so I think the game is broken or we're getting an absolute steal here but he can pretty much be our starting center back alongside Delict, and then PK would go to the bench and that is for only 27.2 million so I think that is just a that is just a no-brainer we're signing up Gabriel and then Rodri would be pretty much the rest of our money but we could maybe still sell Dembele and we actually might try and negotiate this a little bit bring this down if we can like what if we do 79 and then a 25 percent sell-on clause what if we try that so we can try it i can't believe we got him for only 27.2 million an 86 rated center back and he's only 25 too it's not like he's old so that is an absolute steal but that is something that we needed so our new starting center back alongside delict gabriel i am i am happy about that oh yeah also we do have new kits for this season probably show them off towards the uh, the end when we play i think we play Atletico madrid in the super cup we'll probably show them off uh then yeah i think that is one of the best deals we're gonna get in this transfer window because 86 rated he's got 82 speed and then he's got 90 ball winning and then all 85 plus defensive stats so he just looks so good he is gonna be Delic's new partner pk we go to the bench and uh, we only really need one player out of garcia toribo and araujo i think i'd rather keep garcia so we might put toribo and araujo both on the transfer list all right so man city accepted we we knocked off 10 million off the transfer fee for rodri and i feel like we just need a cdm and i feel like he is he is the perfect player for us so even though it's a lot of our budget we can still sell some players i think we are still gonna sign rodri up he is basically a busquets replacement so that's two players that are both 86 rated pretty much upgrades to our team i think so replacing pk in the starting lineup and then replacing busquets now we gotta try and maybe replace griezmann or replace wijnaldum i think i don't know which is more important but now is where uh, money is gonna be a problem i think so rodri will get the number six gabriel will get the number five so rodri gabriel slotting in left back is a weird position because there's not that many good left backs in this game and the ones that are really good they have their release fees are just so high so i feel like i'm okay with Jordi Alba this season maybe we can sign like a young player to be his backup maybe but i feel like more important is maybe a new midfielder and then maybe a new left winger like those are a little bit more important okay Kylian Mbappe has joined Atletico Madrid from PSG okay i was I was not expecting to see that so okay Atletico Madrid by probably one of the best players in the game right now for 351 million where did they even get that money from and then wayne rooney goes to uh 
goes to Inter Milan from United. Oh, that's the that's the regen version. So he's 16. Ah, uh, okay, I get it. But Mbappe and Atletico Madrid are are rivals in this league alongside Real Madrid. That is that is that is a big upgrade. So an offer from Leverkusen for Toribo. We can only we can only get 13 million for him. Like Toribo is pretty quick. His ball winning. His ball winning is actually better than Garcia and uh, and Araujo. I wonder if we should keep Toribo and then sell Garcia and Araujo, actually. That is what we're actually going to maybe look to do. Because it makes sense to keep the better of the three, right? Plus, I think Eric Garcia is worth more than Toribo. So we can get more money off him. I think that is what we'll look to do. We'll keep Toribo instead. All right, Moriba to Monterey for $23 million. We're going to accept this, and that'll put our budget at almost $40 million. So looking a little bit better, a little bit better. We need to sell Dembele too though and we are not getting offers for him i'm still thinking about this griezmann for 95 million i just i don't know if we could replace him with a player of the same quality for that much or do we just sell griezmann start on to sell dembele and then pick up a new midfielder with that money and then maybe like a like an 85 rated winger for uh for the bench and just start on to this season because Ansu is only 20 and he's 86 rated like he could be he could be the starter for us i am going to think about that all right so we offered offenheim a swap deal with wijnaldum for rodrigo de paul and they accepted i didn't think they would but they did. And it's just a straight swap between him and Wijnaldum. And I mean, Wijnaldum has been really good for us in the series. I like him a lot, but he is going down. He's 83 and going down. And DePaul is 84 rated. He's 84 and he can pretty much play anywhere in the field. If you guys watch the Copa America, he did so well with Argentina. He's going to Atletico Madrid in real life, but they just signed Mbappe. So maybe, maybe we can sign him up instead and he can, I mean, he looks really good. He can play anywhere basically. So I think swapping him with Wijnaldum, that's a, that's a no brainer, I think. So Rodrigo DePaul, is our third signing of this window Wijnaldum on his way to the to the Bundesliga it just makes sense when Adam's going down it just makes complete sense basically because it's a zero transfer fee too you know he's got that he's got that he's got that messy connection so it makes sense so he's more of like a he's more of a box-to-box -box than Foden I think yeah he's got he's got better ball winning so he's gonna he probably start unless we sign someone better but I used him in a Pez 2020 master that I played and he was really good like he is he is very very well rounded and that deal was for free so that is not bad not bad so still need to sell Dembele and then still need to decide on Griezmann I'm still 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 not sure at all. All right, so actually, I did not know that in this, uh, in the year right now we're in is actually the World Cup year. And Messi won World Cup Player of the Tournament. And if we go to the World Cup and if we look at the uh, the knockout stage, Argentina actually won. So Argentina beat Slovenia in the World Cup final. That is not the team you'd expect to be there. I mean, Argentina you expect, not Slovenia though. But I mean, in this in this Master League, Messi wins the World Cup, and he's probably how many goals did he score? He scored four. All right, Messi Messi wins the World Cup. All right, Araujo is going to Bilbao for 13 million. So that makes our budget now sit at 52.9. All right, so we got an offer accepted and that offer is for Paul Pogba. So it would be Jesus traded to May United plus 59.8 million and we would sign up Paul Pogba, who I feel like would fit with this team very, very well. It's just we'd give up Jesus, but we would give up Jesus and then we would try to sell Dembele still. I think Griezmann would end up being our backup striker then. Because Griezmann at center forward is 86 rated. So if we give up Jesus, we can get Pogba to start in the midfield. But it's like, do we really need Pogba that we signed DePaul? Do we really need Pogba? I'm going to leave that there to think about. But if we did do that deal, then Griezmann could be the backup striker. And we could still maybe go after a new left winger, maybe. And then uh, Eric Garcia went up plus two to an 80. So we are going to keep him instead actually in the end. Because he is younger. We got an offer for uh, Tadebo from 13 million or for 13 million from Burnley. So we're going to accept that. And now we have our four center backs. Eric Garcia will be the fourth choice. So we still need a left back. And Rodrigo DePaul went down to 83. Why is he going down? He's only 28. Okay, so I mean, we got him for free. So it's not that big of a deal, but he is going down. He's younger than Wijnaldum, though. I thought that would mean that he'd maybe stay at 84 for a while. And okay, that is a bit annoying. That almost makes me want to get Pogba now because I don't think Pogba is going down. I don't think he's 85 and he's also the same age, 28 or 29, actually. And if we look at this chart, he is going down, actually. All right. So we have to think about that. All right. We are going to sign up uh, Wyndall, though, to be our backup left back for only 9 million. Like that is another steal. He's 80 rated and he's only 23. So that is a steal. And we have our new backup left back. So Jordi Alba, it will be our starting left back this season. There's just not that many good left backs in this game right now. He'll start and then uh, Wyndall will be the backup. 
but man, what do we do about this Pogba deal? Do we give up Jesus? Do we just start Griezmann or do we try to get someone else? I am so confused and don't know what to do. All right, so we are at the Super Cup. I'm not actually sure. Have we won the Super Cup before or how we lost it? Because I don't think we have a Super Cup trophy here. So I don't think we've ever won the uh, Super Cup de España. So we might play this game. I'm just unsure what to do about this uh, Pogba deal. We sent an offer at Bayern Munich with uh, Dembele attached to it. So we can wait to see what they say about that. Yeah, I am not sure about uh, Paul Pogba because it'd be most of our money plus Jesus. So we're just going to play this uh, Atletico Madrid game facing Mbappe and his new team. And then we're also going to see the debut of Rodri, DePaul, and Gabriel for Barcelona. And I wanted to see how Ansu would play starting and he's going down on red. I'm still going to start him anyways. Screw it. We're still going to start him. We're going to start DePaul over Foden, I think. I'm so torn. Like, should we not even sign Pogba and just start Foden this season? My only issue with that is he's he's got only 59 ball winning. I feel like he's not he's not like a box to box. I mean, he could be. He really could be. We're actually going to try that in this game. We'll bring on to Paul maybe like a later in the game, but we're going to start Foden and we're going to start on to see how that that uh, those two players work in the starting lineup. All right. So now regarding the new kit situation, I downloaded a, a kit pack for Barcelona and I think it has total of 24 kits and they're all classic kits. So we have the basic ones from this uh, previous season. And then we have pretty much like the last Barcelona kit for like the last four or five years. So we have, I don't know which year exactly these are from, but we have a bunch of them, a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different styles. I was thinking we maybe pick a home away and maybe a third and fourth out of all these, or we could just use pretty much all of them throughout the season to switch it up. Yeah, this, there is like a just ridiculous amount of jerseys here. I really like this one. I remember this this one's from 2013, I think. I really like that one. This one might be our, our home kit. And then I also like the uh, the all black one. And there's this other one. I got to find it though. I like that blue one too. I like this uh, this orange one. There's one I'm looking for though. I like this blue one. This one might be our third kit. I like that. I like that shade of blue. And then we can just pick one to be the away kit. I mean, we have 24 choices. So I can I can, I can basically pick a new jersey for every game if you want to. But I think, uh, I think this classic one is going to be the main kit of season three, I think. So I want to see how it looks in game. But all right, Supercopa. We're going to see Rodri's debut and also Gabriel's debut. Probably DePaul later on as well. I don't think we've, we've won this. Uh, Super Copa. I don't think we've won it before. So uh, now would be a good time to win it. All right. The classic. I mean, they're not. How classic are they? They're from 2013. They're not. They're not that classic, but I do like these jerseys. They do look good in game. And I mean, we could also, we could basically pick a new jersey for every, uh, for every episode too. But these look pretty good. I'm, I'm ex I have big expectations for Gabriel and Rodri, honestly. But look at Mbappe in Atletico Madrid uniform. That is something that you probably will never see in real life, but that is a that is a huge upgrade for Atletico Madrid. That's all right. Officially the start of season three, the last season of this master league. We will see. Okay, Saul goes for a challenge immediately immediately. We're going to see what we can do, though. I'm expecting big things from Rodri and Gabriel. I bet Atletico Madrid are expecting big things from uh, from Mbappe, too. An early cross in, and De Jong is going to get that out. Ansu should collect this. Okay, that's a that's a collision, but we are going to gonna break from this. I have not played this Master League in like a week. Well, I got to get used to this team again. All right, De Jong, get that to Philip Foden. I think he could be pretty good in the starting lineup. I just, like I said, he's not a typical box-to-box. -box. That's the only thing that worries me defensively. Speaking of defense, Mbappe is through. He's going to go for a shot. And how does that even go in? How does that go in? Okay, that's a that's a good start for Mbappe at Atletico Madrid. Like, like, what, what is this? What is this? It's a through ball. Mbappe has the speed. He beats Delict, and he just... He just takes a pop shot and that's top right hand corner. All right, that is that is just pure ridiculousness. And Atletico Madrid are up 1 0 in this game now. All right, can we have a quick reply? Ansu is going to pick this up. Can we maybe cross it in? That was a cross to nobody. Rodial was going to get that to De Jong. We get that to Foden. Yes, we can. Foden's going to have a shot of his own outside the box. I thought that almost went in. Was well, not that bad of a shot. Oh, that goes in too. I just have a feeling they're going to score every time they're on the ball. You can just feel in Pez when the CPU is playing good. Oh, I just, I felt that. I completely felt that 100%. It's just Koke gets it to Maratza and then I try to get in front of him. He just curls it around Ter Stegen. This is not the start that I wanted for, for our final season with Barcelona. That is a great ball to Ansu. Savage like elbows Ansu and he's going to beat him. There's no way Savage is faster than Ansu Fati. 
There, it feels like there's some fishiness going on in this game right now. Warner will be swung in for Atletico Madrid, and that is going to go right to Saul. That is blocked, and that's going to be another corner. I remember we beat we beat Atletico Madrid like 4-1 uh, last season. It's like in these matchups, they're never close. Either they beat us easily or we beat them easily. Gabriel should get that out. He doesn't, but that's going to be over the net. All right, good ball to Foden from Messi. Foden is just going to run himself. We get that to Ansu. That's a weird ball. That's going to be a shot saved, and that is going to be cleared. Yeah, that was a that was a weird attack. Yeah, we just feel kind of everywhere at the moment. Like, does not feel very cohesive. Let's see if we can slowly come back into this game. That ball from Ansu is terrible. Ansu is not having a good game, but I'm pretty sure he is going down on red, so I do have to keep that in mind. Probably should not have played him. I just wanted to see how we started in this team. Gabriel is making a run forward. Foden, Foden, oh, Foden puts it wide. He did like so well there, just except for that final shot. And they just look like they're going to score more and more. Ter Stegen actually makes a save for once from Mbappe, and they do not score three. That's not a good attempt at anything, though. And that is going to be a pen for Atletico Madrid. Oh, this has been, this has been such a bad game. All right, so Mbappe to put Atletico Madrid up 3-0. He is going to go left. He's going to go left. He's going to go left, and Ter Stegen makes the save. Man, I think I've saved like my last three pens on Pez. All right, take that momentum and try to get back in this game. Play that up to Holland. Get it right back to Messi. Nope. Okay, they are just... I am sensing some like scripting or just something in this game because we cannot do anything. Give that to Ansu. Up to Holland. He's been quiet but not had that much service. He's going to go for that shot, and that shot is straight at all black. All right, two changes at halftime. Griezmann is on for Ansu, and then Rodrigo de Paul is on for Foden. Might as well see if those two changes can change the momentum in this game. We could still get back in this. If we score, if we score one, we'll be we'll be right back in this. All right, good ball to Griezmann. Gonna get that too. Holland, Messi. Why isn't Messi making the run like I want him to? He never does that. He, he started to run and then he stopped. All right, ball up to Holland. We flip that to Griezmann. Saul is gonna get that perfectly. All right, we're stringing together a little bit better. Griezmann, can we get that to Holland? Yes, we can. That's gonna fall to Messi. Nope, that's gonna be a throw-in. Right, Wan Bisaka get that to De Jong, and Mbappe is there to steal it. Okay, they. My players feel like they're in quicksand, and Atletico Madrid players, they just, they are just, they're just having the best game of their lives. That is a cross in, and Jordi Alba will get that out in the end. All right, Holland, Messi is making a run. We're going to go to De Jong instead. He's not going to have the pace to beat everyone, though. Can we maybe try a low cross in to Messi? Nope, that goes to Holland, and that is going to be cleared. Right, Messi to Rodrigo de Paul on for his Barcelona debut. Can he connect with his Argentinian teammate, Messi? Yes, he can. And Messi puts that wide. I mean, this just might not be our day. Oh, that's going to be three. That's going to be three. And that is going to be three from Koke. I don't think the game wanted me to win this at all. At least that's how it feels. And that is... 3-0 to Atletico Madrid in the 72nd minute. Yeah, it's not a good way to start the season. And it looks like we will still be without a Super Copa win in, uh, in three seasons. I mean, can we get one goal at least for our pride? Holland is brought down. That's going to be a foul. All right, can Messi put this in to give us a little bit of spirit? Yes, he can. That is a little bit of spirit from that goal. We're going to grab it. We're going to try to come back even though 3-1. Man, if they didn't score that third, we would be right in this still. It's a good free kick. It was actually a very good free kick. All right, 77th minute. That is at least one goal for us in this game. If we could force a mistake or something, we can get the second, then this will be a dramatic finish. Yeah, no, it does not look like there's going to be any drama in this game as Mbappe takes a shot, and that's going to go right to Ter Stegen. I mean, we scored one, but this game has been very, very, very poor from us. Like, I don't, I can't think of one player who had a good game. Like, Rodri has been very disappointing in his first game, even though, like I said, no one's had a good game. Everyone's been disappointing, but especially in their first games, Rodri has not been very good. Okay, Holland's going to take a run. Can we get this second? No, we can. That's a good tackle, and that is going to be it. We lose the Supercopa once again. Yeah, it just felt like Atletico Madrid came to play, and we we just did not in this game. All right, I think we're going to end this first episode of Season 3 right here. So we still have two games before the transfer window closes. I'm, I'm very unsure about this Pogba deal. I don't know if we should accept it or not, because it will be most of our money and giving up JC. So we'd still get money for selling Dembele, hopefully. And uh, let's actually sim one more day and see what Bayern say about this uh, Sané deal. All right, Bayern, uh, they rejected the deal for Sané. Not a surprise there. So do you guys think we should accept this Pogba deal? I mean, he'd be an upgrade in the midfield for sure. And like, 
These Neymar, Sterling, Sané, I think they're just too expensive for us. Sancho, I think I think they're just too expensive. So like if we sell Dembele, I don't even know what we could replace him with. If we sold Dembele, I want to pick up Chase to be his replacement. That is one player I really want, and he's not that expensive. He's only 68 million. So if we could swap Dembele with uh, Chiesa, I would do that. But it's just, uh, do we sign Paul Pogba? I feel like uh, Foden in the midfield, I feel like that did not work. I feel like we were better when uh, DePaul came on because he's more of a box-to-box. -box. I think Foden's more of an attacking midfielder plus a winger. So we have to think about for the next episode, do we sell Griezmann for 95 million to PSG? Do we do that deal? And then uh, do we sign Paul Pogba up to start alongside Rodri and uh, De Jong in the midfield. That is the, uh, that's the question. No, oh, not a good start. Losing 3-1 to Atletico Madrid, not a good start at all, but we've, we've lost that Supercopa to start every single season. So I guess it's no change from the first two seasons, but let me know what you guys think about those transfers in the comments down below. Also drop a like on this video if you enjoy this video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you've not, but I will, I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you all have a great day.